Let's turn to the growing problem of plastic pollution across the world and a pioneering way of dealing with it. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch in the Pacific Ocean contains plastic waste twice the area of the state of Texas. Yeah, Kenya is one of the many countries contributing to this pollution. Hundreds of tons of plastic waste are created every day just in Nairobi, the capital. As part of our Eye on Earth series, Deborah Pata met with a young woman who's come up with one potential solution. This is Dundora, about 30 acres of waste. That's the equivalent of 22 football fields. Despite a pioneering plastic ban, Kenya is still drowning in it. And whilst most people look at this and think it's an insurmountable plastic mountain, one young woman saw a way to move that mountain. There are days in Kenya when you can actually walk on water. This river is choking with so much plastic, it's formed an unsinkable foundation. A disturbing health hazard for everyone living here, except this young woman. So I get, I get excited when I see waste, because I know that's, that's, that's life for us. The fact that plastic does not sink is precisely what intrigued material scientist in Zambi Matia. I came across this concept of using plastic to building blocks. In 2017, Kenya outlawed single-use plastic bags, but it's still everywhere, clogging drains, polluting rivers, contaminating animal feed. Some of it ends up here in Nairobi's Dundora landfill, which long reached its capacity and was supposed to be closed down 20 years ago. But every day, waste pickers trudge through the rancid trash, sifting for plastic. Plastic that Matea had to figure out how to turn into bricks. When you made your first brick, how was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was the best day ever. It took us about nine months just to make one brick. But one brick wasn't enough. No problem for a woman who likes to get her hands and pretty much everything else dirty. So she built a machine to mass produce the plastic bricks. First, the waste is sorted to remove rubble and metals. And then you're going to bake it. Exactly. Figure, if you know how to make cookies, this is just making cookies. I can make a brick, are you saying? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the boiling mixture is molded into building blocks, as many as 2,000 a day, 35% cheaper than standard bricks and up to seven times stronger. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yep, uh. it doesn't break. Currently, Matias bricks are only used for pathways in small households, but she wants to target big construction companies next. Compounding Kenya's fight against plastic is that two years ago, the US exported more than one billion pounds of plastic waste to 96 nations, including Kenya, and now wants to make the shipment of plastic a condition of a proposed trade deal. Greenpeace activist Amos Wemanya believes Kenya can barely manage its own waste, let alone recycle America's. It would be importing more problems if we were to allow um, this U.S.-Kenya trade deal to be used as a, a way of uh, dumping plastic waste on the African continent. Matia agrees countries should keep their waste in their own backyards, and she intends to make good on what she calls her triple threat. The more we recycle the plastic, the more we produce affordable housing problem, the more we created more employment for the youth. Which means there's no time to get too comfortable. <laughs> for CBS This Morning, Deborah Pata, Nairobi, Kenya. Well, based on that UN report, time is running out. We've got to find solutions. This is one of them. Yeah, well, I mean, we could probably use some of those bricks here in America. And what a sales uh, uh, person that, that woman is. Yeah. Scientist and salesperson. <laughs> and just the excitement over it, too. Yeah, you can't yeah. help but join her in some of that. Yeah. Great, great use.